author R.G. Long, and I gotta tell you, there were is this group of video game series that I absolutely love because it involved two of the things that I really like and like mashed them together, <laughs> like in the uh, really I think fantastic story of both having great fantasy stuff and some really cool sci-fi things as well. And it was the space epic series Star Ocean. Now maybe you have played these games and uh, like this is all uh, old hat to you, but if you haven't, I want to tell you about them because they are epic. All right, so the games are fantastic. In fact, the original Star Ocean came out for the Super Nintendo, and we never got to see it over on this side of the pond until it got remade for the PS, uh, the handheld PlayStation um, console. And so it was a long time before we got to see this, but what we did get to see and what I got to play first was Star Ocean 2, which I thought was really weird getting to play Star Ocean 2 and like thinking, okay, there's a lot more that I should have explained over here, but we'll get into that in just a second. First off, the premise of the stories were really great and all kind of revolve around this one idea of what if there's someone from this really super advanced society who all of a sudden shows up in what we would consider like um, medieval fantasy world. And for what I think is really interesting how the series works out is that there are actually laws <laughs> in this game world, the Star Ocean world, that prevent the super advanced person from like sharing their technology and what they know. <laughs> there are actually, I think, even laws about coming into contact with the primitive beings from the fantasy world, but of course this is a video game so those laws get broken like immediately. The premise was really, really fun though. Sometimes you were the person, you got to play as the person who was from the fantasy world, and sometimes you got to play as a person who was from the advanced society, and so you got to see it from both ends, and I just really thought that premise was awesome and a lot of fun to get into and also the battles were really fun now again if you've been around on this channel for a little bit you know that i really loved a good turn-based battle system for me that's just like a uh, atypical jrpg love that stuff but for star ocean the battles were really fun because you actually move your character around a little bit even so it was like a random encounter but in that they're a little bit more actiony and for me i could get into that i could enjoy that a lot and it was a whole bunch of fun to see how you could make your characters interact unfortunately you couldn't control all of them at once you could only just control either one person at a time and kind of switch around so there were sometimes just like hey i'm gonna make my healing person heal but then like they went overboard and then spent all their magic points and then what are you gonna do right so the battles are really fun sometimes a little wonky but mostly a lot of fun and in star ocean 2 what i hear the second the second story there were so many characters like when i played this on my playstation 1 it was just enough time to where you could download guides from the internet and so i was doing that and figuring out okay you've got a male protagonist and a female protagonist and there were some characters that you could only get if you played the male version or the female version so there was a lot of really fun characters that you could get and see. And when you play the female version, you only saw one aspect of it. And the male version, you only saw the other aspect of it. And then you could see what those different characters were thinking about in those different ones. And then if you choose one character in the story, then you wouldn't get another character. Like you'd miss out on them completely. So for me, there was tons of replay value in this game because I want to meet all the characters like I think they look really cool I want to see who is who and how they uh, interact with one another which also was really fun because for me this was the first game that I remember playing that you could walk up from the big map to the city and then hit private action and instead of your party all traveling around the city together you actually split up and you could interact with your party as they were in the city, which I thought that was a really neat touch. And again, this is the first video game that I played that was like that to where I could interact with the characters in my party 
outside the party. And I just thought that was really, really cool when I grew up playing this game. Um, unfortunately, they've made more of these and I haven't played them all. Um, I There's Star Ocean 1, 2, and 3, and I've played those, but unfortunately, since number three, I haven't gotten a chance to play the other Star Ocean games. And so I hope they're really fun because they keep on making them. Obviously, they wouldn't keep on throwing money into a, a game series that uh, nobody plays, but here we are. There are only so many hours in a day. I really want to get to play some of these newer Star Ocean games because I just remember the old ones were so fun and I really enjoyed them when I got to play them but I haven't had a chance to yet. And so ah, hopefully one day I'll get a chance to play the upcoming, uh, the new released Star Ocean games. Ah, that's a game that I thought was just really super epic, a whole series that was fantastic. And for me, who normally like was only diving into Final Fantasy, finding Star Ocean was a blast and a whole bunch of fun for me. Hey, let me know down in the comments. Did you ever play Star Ocean? Did you think it was a lot of fun? It was definitely something that was really cool for me. And as an author, it even helped kind of shape the ideas that I have in some of my books. And so would love to hear from you down in the comments, whether you played Star Ocean or if you played a game that was similar that I should check out. Hey, do me a favor, hit the subscribe board right here. If you want to subscribe to more content like this in my channel, would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the journey. See you later.